Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel and today I'm going to walk you through a market sizing case where we try to answer how many personal trainers there are in London. And we'll do this using these five steps highlighted above. The first step is clarifying scope. And clarifying scope at the beginning of a case is important because it helps you, one, keep on track and answer the question, and two, makes the problem more specific and easier to answer. This next section is, in my opinion, the hardest part of a market sizing question. When you structure your market size, I recommend you think of a market size as one large equation. Here you see, if you wanted to fit, find the number of personal trainers in London, you could calculate it by taking the number of hours of training demanded by clients and divide that by the hours of training supplied by trainers. We will continue to break this down in an equation-like manner. Breaking down the top section, we could calculate the number of hours of training demanded by multiplying the number of clients in London by the number of hours each client uses per year. Further, we can find the number of clients in London by taking the population of London and multiplying that by the percentage of people in London that use personal training. And finally, we can find the percentage of people that use personal training by multiplying the percent of active people in London by the percent of those who are gym goers um, and by multiplying that percent by the percent of gym goers who um, use personal training. Looking at the bottom slide, we can see that we can find the number of hours of training supply per trainer uh, by taking the number of hours worked per week and multiplying that by the number of active weeks per year. And we can find the number of hours worked per week by taking the total capacity and multiplying that by uh, the utilization rate, which is uh, the amount of time that a client actually utilizes this, a trainer utilizes his time training a client. As you can see, we broke down this equation tree into multiple levels, and we are going to treat any box that doesn't have two or more boxes connected to it, to the right of it as an assumption we make. We need to make assumptions in order to get a ballpark number for our estimation. Assumptions can be based on personal experience or facts you might know. Starting from the top in this case, we are going to assume that a client requires 67.5 hours a year of training because I'm assuming on average they spend one to two hours a week or 1.5 hours a week doing training. And they do this 50 weeks out of the year, which gets us 75 hours. And that clients cancel about 10% of the time, which leaves us with about 67.5 hours a year. I know that the population of London is approximately 9 million, but you can ask your interviewer if you don't know. And then next, based on my social circle, I'm assuming one in every two people are active regularly or 50%. And I'm assuming the 30% of people who are active go to the gym, whereas the other 70% of people who are active play sports, run, bike, etc. Finally, since personal training seems like it would, only, it would cost a lot of money, I'm assuming approximately only 5% of gym goers would be willing and able to do personal training. Now, uh, looking at the bottom slide um, of this tree, or bottom side of this tree, I'm going to assume uh, the number of weeks a trainer works per year is 48. This gives them two weeks for vacation and two weeks for different holidays. Further, I'm going to assume that personal trainers have 10 hours of availability every day uh, to accommodate for their clients who probably have to come in before or after work. And I'm going to assume that trainers utilize about 60% of their time conducting sessions with clients and the other 40% planning out those sessions or having downtime since they're probably not booked 100%. Now it's time for the math. And while doing mental math seems scary, if you take your time and try to break up the math into simpler problems, you can get through it just fine. To start, we'll take the 50% um, over here and multiply that by the 30% and 5% to get that 0.75% of people in London use personal training. And we'll multiply that by 9 million to get that 67.5 thousand um, people in London um, are clients of personal training. Um, to do so, um, I did it in an easy way where I took 0.75%, multiplied it by 10 million, which got me 75,000, and I took off 10% uh, afterwards, which got, which got me 67.5 thousand. Now I'm going to multiply 67.5 thousand by 67.5. To do so, I will multiply 70 by 70,000 to get 4.9 million, and then subtract 2.5 thousand times 70, uh, which we kind of added from over here and then the 2.5 times 70,000, which we added over here um, to get 4.55 million hours approximately. <clears throat> um, now, uh, looking at the bottom, I will find the number of hours worked per week uh, by multiplying 50 by the 60% the utilization rate to get 30 hours per week and multiply this 30 hours by 48 by taking 30 times 40 to get 1200 and 30 times by eight to get 240 to get, and adding them together to get 1440. 
In this last step, I will make the, the math simple uh, for us by dividing 4.55 million by 1500 instead of 1440. Um, and then at the end, multiplying the end result by 1.04 to account for the difference. Um, doing so, I'm gonna take 4.5 million and divide by 1500 to get 3000 and divide 50,000 by 1.5 thousand to get 33.33. Um, um, adding these together, we get that there are 3,033 trainers in London approximately, but we have to multiply that by that 1.04 um, to account for uh, the difference here. Um, and multiplying by 1.04, we get that there are approximately 3,153 trainers in London. Um, the last step is to check your answers and checking your answers should not just be um, going through the math and making sure you did the math right. You should contextualize your answers to see if they make sense in your head. Um, I did this um, two ways below. The first way is I found that there's 3,000 trainers um, in London for 9 million people, meaning there's one trainer for every approximately 3,000 people in London. And so from this, I can tell at least it's not too many trainers, um, but it might be too little. I'm not sure exactly. Um, and additionally, I found that if a trainer works approximately 1,500 hours and they bill a rate of $50 an hour, which seems um, like a fair price to me, um, their salary would be $75,000 a year, which gives me confidence um, in this number because $75,000 seems like a very uh, common salary for a personal trainer. Um, and that's about it. So feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, have a great day.